mosquito that transmits the dengue fever is called Aedes aegypti. It lives indoors, close to people, and is a daytime attacker. It lays eggs in clean water receptacles used in daily life, such as water tanks, drums, and jars. Discarded tires, coconut shells, and any plastic containers that can gather rainwater also provide ideal breeding sites. The eggs can survive for months. Just a few mosquitoes can produce large dengue outbreaks. Currently, there is no vaccine against dengue and no specific drug treatment exists. Dengue is now endemic in many countries. Outbreaks continue to occur regularly in our region imposing a burden on the health sector and the socio-economic development of member states. Dengue is a potentially deadly disease. And during outbreaks, it has a huge economic impact on hospitals, on families, also on other sectors, for example, tourism, which is so important in Asia. The problem is that dengue is a neglected disease, meaning that after outbreaks, very little attention or money is put into dengue in most countries. And this needs to change. In order to prevent and control dengue and lessen outbreaks, we need political commitment, we need investment, and we need the involvement of other sectors. And especially, also the communities need to be part of this. And finally, the international donor community needs to put more resources into supporting countries to do something about dengue. We need to be proactive now. In the absence of a vaccine and antiviral drugs, mosquito control is the best option to prevent and control the disease. Massive social mobilization through community outreach programs, people can learn how to protect themselves and contribute to the elimination of breeding sites. Better management of dengue cases will save lives. Early detection and proper classification of cases can be improved through the adoption of the new WHO Dengue Guidelines. Case management can also be improved with additional training of healthcare workers and the increased involvement of the private health sector. The presence of dengue in one country is a threat to other countries. International trade and travel helps spread the disease which cannot be controlled if efforts are limited to one nation. Regional collaboration is vital to address this common problem. Therefore, timely information sharing and effective surveillance systems are important. Dengue surveillance is very important for early detection and rapid response to dengue outbreak. Not only for that, improving dengue surveillance can be also beneficial for other diseases. Dengue has no border. Regional collaboration is essential. Dengue is here and on the move. The battle against it cannot be won overnight. Dengue control is everyone's responsibility. We have the power to do something. We have the power to save lives. It's time to act now.